Hello there and welcome to a brand new game that we are gonna feature on our channel here. Now this one's called Noble Fates and it's very similar to RimWorld, I guess in some ways to Minecraft as well and also going medieval that we're currently also playing. Right, so um, yeah, it is a survival colony building, colony management and uh, it's, it's quite a fun little game. I've, I've had a little bit of a try for a couple of evenings and essentially it's uh it takes i'd say a little bit of time to get used to with the settings and how things are essentially here we got three colonists we got Stu, sloan and steph bottom right here's some of our time controls and maybe we we'll just pause it for a second we, we can toggle different things on and off what we can see and 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 what's visible and then um, it does have the layer system as well where we can scroll through different layers we go back to normal so that's good it's it has a few well full four seasons so that's that's definitely very exciting and um yeah it seems how this game stands out is the the social system how different decisions will affect your gameplay so it should be pretty uh, replayable as well because um, every every time uh, you have different dialogues and um and even actions as well that you do in game will provide you a slightly different different experience so let's have a quick look at the map here as well it seems fairly fairly flat right so i have tried building up on a hill before which uh i think it was cool but it definitely slows you down quite some bit now i'm thinking we might want to have somewhat of a centralized uh, castle here so that way we can reach all corners of the map uh, at the same time. Or it's going to be the similar distance. So yeah, where we are right now, this seems to be a fairly okay location. Got a bit of water here as well. And that will be actually very interesting to have a base on, on top of the water. But we might, might do it later. So for the time being, at the bottom here, we've got a few options. We can choose some different buildings. We can designate some farm areas or digging commands. We can set some stockpiles. Uh, but right now, what we probably want to do is we'll have a look at the job assignment. So with the three colonists, they're going to have their different passions and what they like or don't like doing. Uh, right, we're going to turn off the autonomous mode here because we are going to want to customize it a little bit. So what I'll do is I'll just rearrange this real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, so it seems... Um it's it's a bit of a mix of things that we have right now but that should be uh, should be good to start with now uh, next thing the schedule i think for now what we'll do as well we'll make sure because the colonists they don't seem to really like darkness so what we'll do is we'll ensure that they sleep during night time and um, and yeah daytime is our preferred time to work and do things oh there's a lot of things um logs in here right so we're gonna give a uh let them chop these down and what we'll do let's see i think we'll try and start building our base right in the middle here uh let's have a quick look yeah that should be should be okay maybe right right about here and um i think for this style what we'll do is we'll do something generic uh, to start with and then eventually we'll we'll try and turn it into a castle but um, uh, right now I'm unable to show different room benefits but once we build some of that uh, couple of rooms in here then we'll we'll get a look at things as well so right at the start we'll have bedroom here with a bit of a uh, bit of a stockpile so we'll definitely need a few walls now, which way do we want to face it? Well, you, you know what? I don't think it matters too much. Although going this way, well, we've got a lot of space. So let's, um, yeah, let's face it this way for, for the time being. And when it comes to the roofs, we could put a roof on top, but I'd like to start building upwards pretty much straight away. And all we need now is a bit of a door here. Right, let's... Oh, too much. We'll go about here. Okay, Sloan, what are you up to? You're not really doing anything, are you? Let's just check the... 
Uh, okay, so he doesn't do any logging. Doesn't help with building. Do you know what? We'll put a few points in the other ones as well. Yeah, let's do that for now. It's definitely far from perfect. But it will do. It will do for the time being. And we've got a bit of a stockpile in here. So that's good. We'll definitely want to bring things in. Because just like in uh, some of similar other games, having items outdoors will make them degrade over time. And that is something we don't, we don't really want. I uh, know you guys are logging, but... Okay, we do have a couple of people that are actually building, building as well. So let's have a look at the furniture real quick. We need beds. I think right now we can only do straw beds. And well, let's go back. Right, so now we can see the room is highlighted. And if we click on the owner bit here. Uh, sorry, not that one. Uh, let's click on the type. And this brings us the menu. Oh, click autosave. Where we can now take a look at what kind of rooms do exist. Um, when it comes to bedrooms, right now this is a nine tile bedroom and that is going to increase the prestige. That is very important in this game. So right now the prestige for Stu is 22, but his ambition is nine. So that means he's, he's loving his time in our kingdom. And yeah, our kingdom is called the, the garbage arm. So that, that, that is something that just came automatically, all the names and stuff. So, but uh, yeah, it's garbage arms. Oh, well, we'll let it be. Steph, what are you up to? Relaxing. I don't think now is the time to relax. We definitely need to have a few things built in here. And you know what? Maybe you can just do a bit of a stockpile area for us right about here. Should do I? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna put any corpses, but everything else can go in there, which is fine. We'll speed up the time as well. Now, food we have for four years, so that's good. Uh, right, quite a few things are now available to us, which is also fantastic. But the priority is to have this built ASAP. Uh, right, what else? There's quite a quite a lot here to see and do. So we've got the overview, what they, what their personal stats are, and also what they're carrying. Their then their needs, the the usual sort of food, sleep, light hygiene, clothes, and everything. Um, once the levels start dropping, that brings their how much they love the king. Right, so bottom here we can see still love loves himself. Sloan loves Stu as well, and so does Steph. So we definitely have to keep this high, because if they if that they're liking towards us or Stu drops really low, they're gonna want to leave our king kingdom, and that's something we would prefer to avoid. Now, also from time to time, we will get visitors from other kingdoms. Right now, there's, we can't really see anyone because no one's wanted to come and visit us. But in the future, we'll definitely have some um, have, have some people that come by but also we'll make some new friends as well right let's keep uh, expanding Ooh, a bit of a lag there but that's okay uh, roofing is almost in so that is great now please also get those bedrooms sorry the beds done once we have them now the next thing I would like to uh, if we choose the animals we can actually see who's and what is nearby. Uh, right, I'd like to find some cows. Uh, anywhere? No, just deer and bucks. Uh, any cows? Maybe we'll zoom out a little bit. Oh, was there something? Well, that is bizarre. I don't... We do have one cow. Okay, so that's great. Uh, that's a little surprising, as typically in the other games that I played here, we had a lot more cows, but that's okay. For the time being, I'm sure we'll be able to find some more as well. Now, Stu can level up. So, Savior Stu is now a level 3, and that has increased his melee, cooking, foraging, and ranching skills as well. As well. Now, what's interesting, and I don't really know if it's a little bit annoying or not it is randomized so you can't really choose where 
or what area they should um, level up. So instead, if we go into the job assignments next to their skill level, we can see a little minus or plus, and that means the potential. So uh, from what I understand, and I might be wrong, the plus says, uh, if there's two pluses, that means the, uh, let's see, do we have anything with a plus here? I think we did. So for example, above average, this one here, uh, we have another one cooking for Steph. So very high potential. I think that uh, has, a, has a big effect on what skills they level up. And if it's two minuses, then well, don't think it's um, really going to level up in these areas. But all right, so uh, let's see what are these guys doing. I think uh, we are still gathering some wood, which is great. And we're storing it. Someone is hopefully going to go and t try and tame the cow. And then we've got some cleaning duties as well. Right, and also when it comes to research, now oh, that's another interesting aspect of this game. We can click on the learning tab here and, and it shows us different things that we can uh, unlock in the future, but we can't really click on them. So the way this works is once our pawns or the nobles level up, then these, uh, let's say, gates, for example, will become uh, available for us to research. So it will be highlighted in this yellowish color. And we the research is a little bit different. So what happens is the pawn or the noble has to go to the item that you've placed down and it will spend like half a day or, or maybe more um, to sort of learn the item first. And once he's learned it, then that's when we have that researched. So yeah, that's another, another different spin to this game, I suppose. Um, but all right, so now is almost sleeping time. We will have to, uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? Now the corridors, um, we can either keep it two wide or three wide. Three wide would be nice because then we could do decorations, but then at the same time, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. It makes it very massive then if we make it three wide. Okay, we're gonna go 16 tiles, and that's gonna be our next uh, next bedroom, hopefully. Now, where to place this? Uh, yeah, it's a tough one. Let's uh, maybe... Two, four... Wow, that is massive. Yep, that seems to be like the size we want. But now, you know what? Let's just do one here. And then in between those rooms, uh, we are going to need some stairs eventually as well. So I think the main walkway will be three wide in there. Actually, we might as well make it all look kind of the same. So we'll do the same three. And well, I can't really see. But once they got it all down, then we'll be able to have a better, better planning in here. You know what? Let's cut all these trees down as well. They're just a little bit in our way. And now we're just going to keep building. Oh, another interesting aspect of this game is we will get raids. Well, that isn't too interesting. That's pretty normal in most of games like this. But um, we also have demons and imps and and different different um, classes as well. So we're, we're humans. So this time we didn't get any orcs in our, amongst our ranks, but there are different, different uh, races. So, yeah. Yeah, I think the first raid should be fairly soon. It should be just one imp that portals through on day two or three. But I think we'll be able to get a few buildings in before we, uh, we get a bit of a raid. So, uh, do you want to bring it higher, put a roofing on it. And now we'd also like to have some farm areas relatively close, I think. So maybe for starters, we'll have a few farms here. Let's do one, two, three, and maybe, maybe four. All right, first day. And we'll take down the final tree as well. Now for the farms, let's designate uh, something in here. Let, we'll do one corn. Uh, meal beans, octoberries, and pumpkins. 
October berries. Yeah, there we go. Um, right, carry on everyone. And it seems, is our farming level already high enough? I'm not sure, but we are going to get rid of all that copper there as well. And that is a very sizable bedroom, so what we... Actually, you know what? We should be able to build all three. Just to keep their... Mood up. Okay, so that one in there as well. And carry on, everyone. We'll do the same. Couple of walls. And uh, do you want door? Maybe it's the closest. Yep. That looks pretty good. And then... No, we still have to select it. And we'll... Oh. Well. Let's try this again. I was hoping it's not gonna overwrite the door command. But it seems that's exactly what happened. And that should be the bedrooms that we need now. All it needs is another floor on top. Alright, carry on minions. Beds, no, we can't quite do the wooden beds yet. But let's see, let's level up uh, Steph over here. Lovely. Did that give us anything new? Um, maybe. Yes, it did. But nothing that we need desperately. Although butcher table would be not a bad one. Alright, everybody, carry on. I think we're going to need some more trees, aren't we? Yes, we are. So how about a massive command to get rid of those logs? We got some berry bushes here as well. Oh, 17 berries. Okay, so that's actually pretty good. Let's um, forage a couple of them. Only nine. Yeah, that seems good. Let's highlight a few more trees. Just want to clear up this space a little bit in here so we can see what's around us. And here we go. Okay, there's a lot of talking in this game, so I'm going to skip some of those dialogues. Right, so who's in here? How about everybody? Come and attack. Uh, you're really far away. Okay, let's see how this goes. You know what? We'll bring you... Alright, where is he going? He's coming towards Steph. Don't want Steph to fight alone, so... Uh, how far is... Ah, uh, Stu is already here, so that's great. You know what, I think we're close enough now that everyone can join in. And here we go. Coughs is down. And we are victorious. Stu, you can go now as well. And wow, that's a very, very messy one. So now we can loot them. We can take all their belongings, which is great. And uh, let's see. We probably want to get rid of the body. I don't think we want to butcher them. Uh, orc letter, orc skin. Does anyone... Right, so now we can also check their opinions. They like orcs. Do they like orc skin or meat? No. For staff? No. Okay, so what we'll do is... Let's have a look. We've got an update on our map here as well, on our kingdom. Zizzle in here, the shield keeps, is pretty close to us. So we're definitely going to get some more raids. Now, when it comes to burying... Wait, I think it was... Yep, we got a grave, basic grave... That we can perhaps set up somewhere there. Alright, and now carry on. We've got a couple more roof bits. And Stu can level up. Well, you look at that. Level 4 now. And another level in mining, cleaning, foraging, farming, ranching. So that's great. I think Stu might have some um, higher ambition now. No. Ooh, Steph is actually... Going pretty high, so let's try and designate this one as a bedroom already, and that's going to be for Steph, potentially. Yeah, let's just double check. 
10 out of 10. Yeah, most likely, Steph, you'll get this one first. And that should, yeah. He's pretty happy, pretty happy with us now. So that's, uh, that is magnificent. We would like to designate someone or have at least a higher priority in hauling. So maybe we'll bring this. Let's see, eight is for foraging. Uh, do you know what? Let's let's do it this way. And now carry on, everyone. Beautiful. Okay, so another night almost. Well, they're going to carry on building a little bit further. Hopefully it's not going to take too long to get those items down. And um, we are going to have to enclose this area very soon. I would like to put some crafting tables and things down. So we shall just extend it a little bit. Now what I noticed with bigger buildings is that um, even though it's going to be enclosed at some point, well, I want to be finished building it all, it's still, for some reason, it still thinks it's different. Uh, it's outside, sorry. And then uh, everything that's inside will decay over time. So we're going to have to make some smaller areas. But this is essentially a corridor here. And these will be will be rooms. And uh, we'll use those corridors as, as dining areas or maybe some crafting stations. Uh, but we'll also... Can we do any stairs? No, we cannot. Slow on. Let's level you up. We are level 3 now, so cooking and crafting has gone up, so that's great. Now, for cooking, we are going to need a bit of a campfire, and I think we could probably... Where shall we do it? Let's put it right next to next to us over there. Alright, beautiful. Carry on, everyone. would love to have another one of those rooms done. Because if we stay, uh, check Stu, actually, you're fine. Steph is fine. Slow one, probably gonna be the next one. We're gonna need more food. Gotcha. Uh, yep. Food reserves are a little bit low. So let's highlight all those berry bushes. And actually, do you know what? Let's do a crafting station as well. So if we go under the work tab, benches, uh, we'll do crafting. And I think um, this could probably stay here. We'll also do a butchering table. Um, actually, let's put it on the other side. Where is our crafting bench? Is this one here? Uh, yep, that should be good. And um, let's give them the priority. Oh, here we go. And in this one, we'll probably maintain a few torches for us. Our villagers, once again, they don't really like the darkness. So how about 50 of you? We can only queue up 5 in here. So what I'd like to do is let's do a few weapons. We'll do a couple of short bows. Maintain maybe just one will be good. And then we'll also do a stone axe as well. Right. And maybe 3 because we've got 3 colonists right now. Okay, fantastic. How far are we with things? Well, food-wise, I'd like to go hunting. Right, so... Who is our main crafter? That is Sloan. Sloan, what are you up to right now? Storing food. Uh, wood. Okay, well, once he brings that back, maybe we can see him go out and craft a few things for us as well. We'll speed up the time. Sloan, yep. He's already crafting. We'll make a few torches first and then... Ah, uh, there we go. What are you studying? Wooden arrows. Okay. You keep going. Now, farming is something I'd like someone to take the lead on it as well. Uh, Steph, you're the highest. But if we increase this further, what are we losing? Logging. Uh, do you know what? I think we're going to have to. We've got another logger over here. That's two. So that's fine. So Steph, maybe. No. Let's have another look. What is number four in here? 
Oh, Steph is crafting as well. Well, how about... There we go. Uh, wait, that was... Oh, no. Farming. Oh, yeah, no, Steph. We want you to stay on crafting. Uh, okay, I guess farming will have to wait until a couple of things are crafted. And then we can go and hunt a little bit easier as well. But that's okay. Stu over here is crafting. Well, not crafting. He's bringing us some berries from those nearby bushes here. So that's all, all good. And the second bedroom oh, is almost done. So let's highlight all these floors. And you want to build? We'll give this a priority. And then what we'll do is we'll move one of those beds in this room and hopefully hopefully we'll get a, a nicer bonus from there. Steph, ready to level up. Fantastic. So cooking, extra level, foraging and crafting as well. Beautiful. Now when they reach level 5 we can choose an ability. We've got three options. These are all, ah, uh, they're active. I was really hoping for some passive ones. Cooking, mm, nursing, nah. Maybe cooking then. Alright, and it seems like our food is improving a little bit as well. Stu, let's level you up as well, buddy. Ranged cooking, mining, okay, great. What sort of abilities? Oh, cleaning, ah, oh, that's cleaning. Um, cleaning is nice, but that's our king. Uh, you know what? Let's choose the choose this one instead. It's gonna be very very useful once we get attacked by um, those imps or or maybe some other enemies around the area as well. Now, what I don't see a lot. Oh, there we go. I was just about to say that I don't see a lot of stone around us, but it seems we've got a few, so let's highlight them all. Then there we are going to need some stone to uh, construct this fire pit in here. And then we can start cooking some more food as well. Right, we've got a few arrows. Now let's try and select the crafting bench once again. The next one should be the short bow. Okay, so that's uh, great. We are nearly finishing up on this bedroom here as well, so that's uh, that's not too bad. Right, do we let's check our stories over here. We've got quite a lot of wood. So we're not short of that just yet. And it's almost night time again, and we've got a couple of people already resting. Um actually this should have been a priority. And this room here. You know what? Whoever Yeah, you can still you can sleep in there, that's fine. Whose room was this one? That's most death. Uh, slow on, well, well, you're actually fine. You know what? We'll give it to uh, Stu. And yeah, his uh, ambition is still 10, but we're giving him 71 in prestige. So that's, uh, that's actually wonderful. All right, things are looking pretty well so far. I do like the day and night cycle. And wait, we've got a visitor here. Oh, I totally missed that before. So once it's uh, morning, we can ask Stu. Hey, go and have a quick chat. And that's how we make friends. So we can ask them, uh, what's on your mind? And then Sus over here. Uh, well, yeah, that's uh, pretty much how we build up our relationship with them. And after some time, if we're lucky enough, they will start to like us, and that means um, we can get better discounts or better deals on when we are trading. Uh, right. He likes... Uh, you know what? I don't think we really like cooked humans. And... Um, let's keep going. What else? Okay. Beautiful. Can we have one more thumbs up? Uh, I like nursing as well. Nope, not quite yet. Big leather. Yep, we love it too. And there we go. Uh, Sus now likes too. Beautiful. 
So back in conversation, if we go into this window, select trade, and we can already see they like stew, so that's why we are getting, getting a slightly better rate on some of those items. Yeah, so overall, that's a very interesting and very promising game. I'm very excited to play some more, and I'm also keen to hear if uh, what do you guys think of this game. I know we haven't seen too much in our first episode just yet, but... I'm thinking we'll definitely have a couple more videos in, in this one as well to fully explore some uh, what, uh, what else the game has to offer us. But yeah, thanks very much for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed and I also hope to see you again in the next one.